Welcome to our educational series on mental health. I'm Dr. Val Nkendom, a psychiatric nurse practitioner, here to guide you through an understanding of two significant psychiatric symptoms, apathy and anhedonia. I'll explore their causes, how they manifest in patients, and the latest evidence-based approaches for their treatment. While these symptoms are common in various mental health disorders, their management requires a tailored approach. Apathy and anhedonia significantly impact patient well-being, making their effective treatment a key component of psychiatric care. Remember, this video is designed for educational purpose only and it is not a substitute for professional medical advice. Always consult with your healthcare provider for customized care. Apathy, characterized by diminished motivation and a lack of interest in activities, is a symptom observed in various psychiatric and neurological disorders. It's particularly prevalent in conditions like major depressive disorder, Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, and schizophrenia. From a neurobiological perspective, apathy is linked to dysfunction in the brain's frontal subcortical circuits, which are crucial for motivation and goal-directed behavior. Psychological factors such as prolonged stress, trauma, and the individual's environment also play a significant role in the development of apathy. Clinically, apathy presents as a profound lack of initiative and emotional indifference. Patients with apathy may appear disinterested in their surroundings, activities, and even in maintaining personal relationships. This symptom can profoundly impact the quality of life, leading to occupational and social impairment. Accurate diagnosis involves a comprehensive assessment, including patient history, observation, and the use of clinical skills such as the apathy evaluation scale. It's important to note that apathy is not simply feeling unmotivated but is a pervasive and debilitating symptom that necessitates targeted intervention. Anhedonia, on the other hand, is the diminished ability to experience pleasure. This is a core symptom in disorders like major depressive disorder, schizophrenia, and bipolar disorder. It arises from disruptions in the brain's reward processing system, particularly involving neurotransmitters like dopamine. Dopamine is central to the brain's reward pathway, which includes regions such as the ventral tegmental area, nucleus accumbens, and prefrontal cortex. In healthy individuals, engaging in pleasurable activities triggers dopamine release, reinforcing this behaviors. However, in mental health disorders, this reward pathway may be dysregulated, leading to anhedonia. Chronic stress, hormonal imbalances, and certain medications can also contribute to the development of anhedonia. Patients with anhedonia often report a lack of interest in activities they previously enjoyed and may experience a general sense of joylessness. This symptom can be particularly challenging to manage as it directly affects the core aspects of what makes life enjoyable. Anhedonia is not just a state of not feeling happy, it's a significant reduction in the capacity to experience any form of pleasure. Understanding its complex neurobiological basis is crucial for developing effective treatment strategies. Treating apathy requires a multi-dimensional approach given its complex etiology. Pharmacological interventions may include the use of stimulants or dopaminergic agents, particularly in cases where dopamine dysfunction is evident. However, medication alone is often not sufficient. Psychotherapy plays a crucial role in treatment. Cognitive behavioral therapy can be effective, focusing on increasing engagement and motivation through structured activities. Behavioral activation, a component of CBT, involves helping patients engage in small, goal-directed activities to counteract the inertia of apathy. Environmental modifications, such as increasing social interaction and physical activity, can also be beneficial. For patients with neurogenerative diseases, such as Alzheimer's, tailored interventions focusing on stimulation and engagement are essential. It's important to regularly monitor and adjust treatment plans, as apathy can fluctuate over time and in response to different interventions. Collaborating with caregivers and family members is also vital as they can provide additional support and insight into the patient's behavior and response to treatment. Despite these strategies, treating apathy remains challenging due to its varied causes and its potential overlap with other psychiatric symptoms. In conclusion, it is crucial to consider the human aspect, how anhedonia and apathy affect individuals' daily lives and their interactions with the world. The goal is to not only treat these symptoms but also to improve overall quality of life for our patients.